boiling point and vapor pressure are difficult to understand because they're so difficult to visualize. So of course, it's even more difficult to understand the two colligative properties, vapor pressure depression and boiling point elevation. But I'm going to make that clear for you. As you may have seen in my video, the simplest understanding of boiling point and vapor pressure, when the temperature of water hits its boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius, the heat that is still being applied to the water goes into breaking intermolecular forces between water molecules instead of heating the water up beyond 100 degrees Celsius. This allows water molecules to become free and vaporize into a gas just above the surface of the liquid water. This water vapor now has a vapor pressure equal to that of the atmosphere, which means they can rise into the atmosphere and coexist as a gas with the atmospheric gases, also known as evaporation. But when other particles are added to water, more intermolecular forces develop between the water molecules and the particles. Even when water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, the water molecules cannot vaporize into gas because in a way, the particles, which cannot themselves vaporize at such a low temperature, hold on to the water molecules, keeping them in liquid state. Because of this, the vapor pressure of the surface water molecules is depressed, held below 1 atm or even lowered, which means they cannot vaporize above the surface of the liquid water. So the water has to heat up higher than 100 degrees Celsius so that the extra heat will go into breaking the extra intermolecular forces, which means the boiling point will be elevated. Then, at a certain temperature above 100 degrees Celsius, the surface water molecules will finally become free and vaporize, and the water vapor just above the surface of liquid water will have a vapor pressure of 1 atm, which is equal to that of the atmosphere, which means the water molecules can rise into the atmosphere and coexist as a gas with the atmospheric gases. This is known as evaporation. The degree of vapor pressure depression and boiling point elevation depends on a few factors, as can be seen in the colligative properties formulas, which help us determine the change in boiling point and vapor pressure. Van't Hoff factor, denoted by the lowercase i, indicates the number of particles per substrate molecule that will dissolve in water. The greater the number of particles dissolved in water, the greater the degree of vapor pressure depression and boiling point elevation. Molality, denoted by the lowercase m, is the amount of substrate added to the water. The lowercase k indicates water's boiling point or vapor pressure constant. For a better understanding of colligative properties, vapor pressure depression and boiling point elevation, Check out my video, The Simplest Understanding of Boiling Point and Vapor Pressure, in the Chemistry Playlist. Simple as that.